Bomite, a chemical fire suppression system developed by O.J. Child's Company of Utica, New York, became a critical part of the American La France Fire Engine Company when the O.J. Child's Company was acquired in 1927. Hi, I'm Logan, the 64th Gear Jammer Skeel, and this is another episode of Toy Talk. Today, I want to continue my series about famous fire apparatus and the companies that manufacture them. I have talked about several fire trucks and have put them all in a playlist for you and you can watch them all over there with the link down below. I'm also going to review a AMT American LaFrance fire truck model kit a little bit later on and you can buy the kit with another link to my website down below. American LaFrance Fire Engine Company of Elmira, New York was officially founded in 1904 as a conglomeration of several manufacturers. American LaFrance is perhaps the oldest fire apparatus manufacturer in America. The company history can be traced back to 1832 to several companies that went on to become American LaFrance. These companies built hand-drawn, horse-drawn, and steam-powered fire engines. Founded in 1873 by Truxen LaFrance and his partners, the LaFrance Manufacturing Company was selling hand-powered equipment. The American Fire Engine Company was formed with the idea of creating a monopoly in the fire engine manufacturing industry. The International Fire Engine Company, the corporate predecessor of American LaFrance, built some steam-powered fire engines between 1903 and 1907. Apparatus built by International included horse-drawn steamers, hose wagons, and hook and ladders, up to chemical engines, water towers, and combinations. In 1903, the American Fire Engine Company and the LaFrance Fire Engine Company were reorganized as the American LaFrance Fire Engine Company, officially beginning one of the best fire apparatus manufacturers in America. Its corporate offices and manufacturing plant were located in Elmira, New York. By 1907, ALF delivered its first motorized fire engine. With the 1927 acquisition of the O.J. Childs Company of Utica, New York, the firm was thereafter known as American LaFrance Fomite Corporation until 1955. Fomite, a chemical foam fire suppression system, became a critical part of the American LaFrance Fire Engine Company. Fomite is simply a soda acid fire extinguisher. The Fomite fire extinguishers are still in use, but have been replaced by other fire suppression chemicals. Acquiring the Fomite Company gave American LaFrance Fomite Company access to the fire extinguisher market. Over the years, American LaFrance built thousands of fire trucks, including chemical engines, combination pumpers, aerial ladder trucks, Aero Chief snorkel trucks, and airport crash trucks. Some of the company's innovations led to changes in the industry, most notably the cab forward style cab. In 1947, ALF introduced the 700 series fire apparatus. The 700 series was a cab forward design, placing the driver ahead of the engine and providing an expansive forward view. This would become the industry standard and copied by many other manufacturers. In 1995, the company was bought by Freightliner LLC. 
after a financially chaotic period of time, American La France announced it would cease operations in 2014. After more than 100 years of manufacturing the finest in firefighting apparatus, ranging from man and horse drawn apparatus, man powered pumps, to steam powered pumps, to steam powered vehicles, up to gasoline and diesel powered vehicles and pumps. American La France pioneered the way forward to the current fire trucks that we see in firehouses today. And here we go, guys. This is the AMT American La France Ladder Chief 125th scale model kit. It is AMT's item number 1204. It comes in this beautiful graphics on the box and beautiful, beautiful artwork to make this wonderful kit. On this end of the kit, you can see how the ladder extends and because the kit does have a fully extendable ladder and it goes way out there on this ladder truck. You can also see how it will pivot and rotate around once it's complete. Now, of course, being a model kit, you have to be careful because those parts you assemble yourself but and they could get broken, but they make a great looking kit right there. And here is some of the parts that you can see inside. There is the cab, and you can paint it whatever color you like just to make it uh, the uh, authentic uh, fire department that you have. You can see there the radiator and the engine and all of that. And see also how it has a set forward design, because this is an American La France 1000 series with a set forward cab. You can see how the engine and all of that is behind the driver's compartment right there. Then you can see at the back you can where the outriggers are and the ladder, how it mounts to the back of the truck, and you can rotate the truck around. This kit is really cool and it replicates that truck very well. And here you can see all the part sprues that are inside. Your body panels, your ladder panels, your chrome parts, your plastic parts, your um, clear plastic also your colored plastic for lights and sirens there's also a chrome sprue with chrome parts for like the um, air horns and some of the trim that goes on the truck very very nice also there are soft rubber tires that go on the wheels and you can see it has a very nice decal sheet so you can decal this truck up and make it really really sharp once you paint and decal these kits assembled they make beautiful, beautiful models to sit on your shelves. It has all its licensing marks made by AMT. It also includes a detailed instruction manual to go with this. Now, AMT today is owned by Round2 Corp, and their website is round2models.com. They acquired all the old AMT toolings from Ertl. And here it is, a fully assembled version of this truck. It is the American La France 1000 Series Ladder Chief Extendable Ladder Model Kit painted up in red. Isn't that a beautiful model? Here is the AMT 125th Scale American La France Aero Chief Model Kit. It is a snorkel kit and it comes completely unassembled in the box and this is the beautiful artwork they came up with the front for the box here you can see the way the kit will be put together also it's showing off several of the other kits that are available as American La Francis so you can complete the set We're talking about all three kits so stay tuned it has a snorkel and it has a working snorkel here and then it gives you the different colors you can paint the cabs so that remain authentic. Here you can see the snorkel platform, other parts that are in the kit, ladders, etc. Also, you can see how the engine is mounted back of the front axle, making this a cab forward design. A really nice design there. That was an American La France innovation, which uh, the fire departments have used ever since. Here is the complete sprues. There's plastic sprues that are in white. There's also uh, chrome and clear plastic. There's also a decal sheet and an instruction booklet. 
You can see on the instruction booklet it shows all three pieces for the set. Uh, lots and lots of parts to put together, but once you're done, this is a beautiful, beautiful kit. And here is a completely fully assembled one. It is painted in the yellow, which is not super common for fire trucks, but very, but it is out there quite a bit. And you can see how that snorkel boom really works. It goes up and it pivots, rotates, and does everything. Really nice model kit. And that is AMT item number 980. The 125th scale American LaFrance Aero Chief Snorkel Fire Truck Model Kit. And this is the AMT 125th scale American LaFrance pumper truck. They call it the custom pumper, but it is the pumper truck and its AMT model number is 1053. This completes the set. It has that beautiful artwork. Here you can see the way the truck should look when it's fully assembled on the side. It talks about all the parts, over 300 parts in there, sirens, chrome, uh, soft rubber tires this kit has it all here's the way the chassis looks at, on it and then you can see how the engine is set back behind the front axle that way you have the cab forward design which was an American LaFrance innovation also included in this kit is a detailed instruction sheet and a decal sheet so you can decal up your model this shows off some of the parts the soft rubber tires the hose reel uh, axes, ladders, and the complete body. Oh, the body is removable so you can display the chassis detail. Really nice. On the back, you can see the uh, diagrams of all of the part sprues, and then it's even got the decal sheet. There's chrome parts, there's clear parts, there are colored parts, and then there are soft rubber tires. And finally, here is one of them all put together. Now the kit does not come with this base plate, nor does it come with the men or other accessories on the ground. Those have been added later, but that is what the kit looks like fully assembled. And that's the 125th scale AMT custom pumper truck. American LaFrance really did set the standard for fire truck design that virtually every maker adopted. It's a shame such a great company has succumbed to competition. But American LaFrance will never be forgotten. I've got these model kits available on my website while supplies last. Just use the link down below to get one before they are gone. I know these amazing kits will sell out soon. If the link is gone, grab a free copy of my report on scale, as scale is such an important part of our hobby. There is a link down below to get it right now. Thanks for watching everyone. Please smash that like button to help get this video distributed to more great collectors out there on YouTube. Share this video with your followers, drop your comments, and subscribe for more history and product review videos. I'm Logan, the 64th Gear Jammer Skill, and I'll be back soon with another episode of Toy Talk.